morning and welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. Hello, everyone. I'm Rhonda Lonert. And I'm Chuck Alicious, Chuck Williams. All right. Right now, we're joined by Ms. Leslie Webb. She is a program quality specialist for our Opportunity School. Uh, you know, it, it's we were just joking and talking about this during the break. Is The key is to get kids reading, to, to get them to fall in love with reading. And we're going to talk about that this morning, the importance of this holiday season and some great suggestions on how to improve literacy in young children. Ms. Webb, welcome to the show. How are you doing this morning? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Well, hello, my friend. Um, <laughs> we, um, Leslie and I have known each other for a long time. We're both mothers. Um, and of course, Leslie, Leslie you've de devoted your career to helping children. And um, it reminds me of when Avery was little and we were, we had gotten out of the car and we were walking up to a store and he, he just kept looking around like this. And he just looked at me and he goes, Mom, this reading thing is so cool. <laughs> was so impressed that he could read the, he, I mean, he knew the signs by visual, but um, anyway, he was, he was excited about reading. So why is it important that we get our children reading? And I think we hear a lot about the importance of reading and, you know, at Opportunity School, we really serve the youngest children. So birth to birth to five. And so, you know, it, it is absolutely important for our older kids to be reading. But I think it's really important as as parents and in early childhood that we remember that 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 love for reading starts when when children are infants. And so sometimes we don't think about, you know, getting books for for little bitties. Um, but that really is how we start the foundation and the love for reading is by just putting books in the hands of children from from the time they're born and it really it sets the foundation for like I said love of reading like we were talking about also earlier but it also sets the foundation for language skills later on for literacy skills for pre-writing skills so really books and literacy is is the foundation for all of those things that we want our children to have but we can we can create that and develop it in our very youngest children uh, what should parents and grandparents look for in buying books for young children one of the things, and we, this is kind of what we were laughing about before, is one of the things to look for with your young children is that you really want things that have a lot of pictures. You want things that are bright, that that they can look at the pictures. Even just picture books without words are okay. You know, some of the best books that my children loved just had pictures, and then I would make up the story to go with it. Or as they got older, they would make up the story to go with it. Um, so, so boards, uh, sorry, books that are sturdy, I think are important because if a child loves a book, they're going to have that book for a long time. So, so it's, it's worth, um, you know, maybe spending the extra money for board books or really sturdy type of books. And then of course, what we talked about earlier, anything that children are interested in that they love, uh, is important. So if, if they love cars, find books about cars. If they, you know, love buildings, find books about buildings. Just anything that they are interested in, just nurture that love of a curiosity by providing books around that. Uh, the other big drawback is, is finding those resources or where to find this, especially age appropriate material. What are some good resources for books? And Amarillo has so many great resources for that, but but really two of my favorite, one is StoryBridge, and that is a, a wonderful organization here in Amarillo, and you just go to their website, you get signed up for StoryBridge, and they send your child a free book every single month from the time they're born until they turn five. So I think that turned, uh, my math isn't great, but... Um, it, but I think it turns out to be like 60 books or something by the time that child that they have at home, that they keep um, at home. Um, so that's through the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. So I encourage people just as young as possible to, to sign up for that and, and get that great resource. Another really underutilized probably resource in Amarillo is our library. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the favorite the favorite things. And I've heard parents say, well, books are expensive. And, and they can be expensive, but our library has amazing resources. They do great story times. Um, you know, at Opportunity School, we have um, people from the library that will come out and do um, 
books and, and reading with our children in the classroom. So those are just two of my favorite resources that, that we have in Amarillo to get, get books for, for absolutely no cost. You know, uh, I'm looking at it from this standpoint. Today, everything seems to have gone from books to Google. Is there really a better way? Which is the best way to, to get a child to read, electronically or actually turning pages? There is a lot of research on this, and, and definitely board books and handbooks, I mean, um, paperback books and, and things that are actually in children's hand is really what ch young children need to start reading because they they need those concrete experiences they need to be able to even our babies when you know a lot of times we'll say you know put the book out of your mouth but but that's their first experiences being able to touch a book and put it in their mouth and turn the pages and point to what they're interested in definitely as children get get older you know there are electronic books one of my favorite ways to 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 do books is to listen to books and I mean this was back this is dating me but back in the day <laughs> when you could put in you know a cassette tape and you could listen to books right you know there there are great ways to and there's great electronic ways for books but but really for our youngest children just having a book in their hand is the very the very the very best way to encourage literacy and language Ms. Leslie what's the best way for a parent or grandparent to reach out to Opportunity School and plug into these resources and this information on improving literacy. All the it's easy to do. You just get on our Opportunity School website and you can fill out a an application online. I, I'm not sure exactly where you go on the website, but you can get on there and you can fill out an application online uh, oh. if you're interested in enrollment. That's it. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Opportunity School is one of our favorite things. Chuck has a long tie. His mother-in-law worked there for several several years and it we realized I know that. yeah oh yes oh, that's great oh yes mm -hmm. yes ma'am. and uh so thank you for what you guys do you really make a difference especially in the, in the lives of our young people and families that's the key it's a family thing and so thank you for what you do miss leslie absolutely and christmas is a great time to think about books for young children it is yes. that's a, a great gift a mm -hmm. great easy simple gift miss leslie anytime come on back okay 